very cool to see. Morning guys, just out here in Port Phillip Bay with Dad. It's Anzac Day 2018. Um, it's a late start for me. Dad's been out since this morning and caught a handful of pinkies. We're just out off Black Rock, drifting over some shallow reefs, chasing calamari on the drift and casting ahead with the wind uh, with a little soft plastics for pinky snapper. What about half a dozen already? The action's getting nice and hot now. Hope you uh, enjoy the footage and we'll catch you later. Cheers. Just got the Z-Man swim swim, little jig head. And the trick is we're fishing nice and close to the reefs and the edge of the marine park, but staying in the allowable area, but just casting ahead. We're in about four, four and a half metres of water here. And the pinkies are just grabbing it on the drop or after a couple of hops near the bottom. And we're on, on the turtle back. Okay. Made a change to the little turtle back worm from gulp. Slightly heavier head on a one eighth and nice dark pinky. Back after that last pinky, just tidy that up. It's probably got one more fish in it before it totally tears apart. Nice long cast over the reef. Now we'll just hop it back. We're just slowly moving along on the Minn Kota, along the edge of this marine park. Oh, yeah, oh. yeah, he's coming towards me. Just lift it up and he was straight on. Some good head shakes there. The last one was just under 29 centimeters. So we decided to just let him go. This one feels about the same. Same, maybe a touch bigger. I'll put him on the tape and uh, see if he's legal. We don't mind taking a feed of these home. Okay. Back with another tail. Hopefully, we don't lose this to junk fish on the first cast again. First cast with a fresh plastic. Might have a squid on as well in the back. Dad's on. I've got a little pink. We just got some. We just got some squid jigs out the back. Nope. Get Dad the net. If I can. Oh, getting spiked. I can't get the net. You have to get it. a bit small so I'll just let him go. But there's, there's a little squid down the back there. <laughs> Hopefully he doesn't ink all of us.
these things happen. <laughs> he got rid of all his ink? Nope. Just had the squid jig go off. Slightly better one. Just gonna turn the speed up on this electric a little bit. We thought it might have just been hitting the bottom, but... bouncing so it's a half decent calamari I'll get it yeah try not to get inked myself so try and bring it past you and slip the net behind him <laughs> All right. Orangey pink colored jig. Big three and a half Yamashita. A few holes, chunks taken out of the back so you know it works. Right, just cast that back out. We're just drifting along. And with our soft plastics, we're just casting on the reefs. Trying to get pinkies and then calamari is a bit of bycatch behind us. One will invariably get stuck if you got three or four. You're gonna pull everything out. It's too hard. Yep. Slightly better one. On the turtle back again. Yeah, that's a better pinky. What's that? They don't like me. They like the camo turtle back. They always have. It's coming up towards the top. This would be a good legal size pink. If I can land him. Just back that drag off a little bit. We're only a couple of hundred metres offshore. I'm just drifting these shallow. Reefs, yeah, he's half decent. Doesn't want to come up. There he comes. Good size keeper. There we go. Thanks. Bit of fun on six pound. Nice and dark. It's been sitting on the reef for a while. There's that turtle back. That out. Pop him in the live ball. No, I'm. Ah, it's alright. <laughs> yeah. Dad's just had a couple of hits. He's changed over to a. Nemesis, gulp nemesis in camo as well and straight away started getting hits. Seems to be that camo colour and the curl tail really attracts the pinkies. Yep. There we go. That's a better one. <laughs> Just taken off with that. Mm. Still on the six pound leader. <laughs> Hopefully that holds. Keep casting, Dad. Keep casting if there's more there. Oh, you're on the watermelon. You're not on the camo. Ah, uh, rookie. <laughs> rookie. Ah, uh, it's a good head shakes here. I'm using the Miller Rods Brimbuster Brawler. Two to five kilo rod. This is a an old 2510 exist. 16 pound braid at six pound liter. Fantastic sensitivity on this brawler. 
but just so much power in the butt section and a light tip to cast those lighter jig heads and hard bodies but just give you that sensitivity and feel the bites great all-round stick all right making some progress on this fish I take a couple of meters he takes one a couple of flashes it's just starting to come up it's a good fish probably high 40s mid to high 40s on light line it's just a lot of fun in shallow water yeah here he comes that bright red those blue spots dad's on we've got doubles here we go it's a good fish as well i'd say got a good school here there's dad's, there's mine. Just nail that. Give dad a hand in a second. This guy away. quiet the last five five to ten minutes we're just working our way back along this edge line again yep got that light light take right near the boat Dad doubles, oh, dropped him. Might come back. It's about where we caught those last two. There he goes. All right, we're on. Might just let this guy go. Dad's about the same, probably a touch bigger. Yeah, that's probably a good keeper. Mine's probably just on the borderline of what I'd like to keep, but we'll let him go. And we're on. Feels like a calamari, actually. <laughs> yeah, it really does feel like a calamari on this soft plastic. It's just pulled like one. Yep, it certainly is. <laughs> Come on, stay on. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I will. Yeah. Yeah. Put the soft plastic back. Try and get some calamari instead. Oh, where are you? Oh, yeah. That's all right. I'm just, there's a reef here in front of me. Dad's just dropped one. Maybe there's more there with him. Boat's a bit, a bit dirty. <laughs> no. Just under the boat. Another nice one coming up. 
Yeah, that's alright. It's alright. It's alright. It's alright. I got it. You just keep fishing. Yeah, they are a good average, but it's just this, this time of year it's a better average size. There's a good reef here on the left if you want. If you want to come up the front with me. Yep, another one. Yeah, just here in front of us, Dad. You cut, no, you cast. You keep going. It's fine, it's just come on, Murray. I'll get it. Past the net. Just straight ahead of us. We're in line with the electric. Yes. This little brown and red jig's doing the damage this morning. You guys would have seen this on a previous episode of mine. Twitching that jig down with the rod tip, making some big sweeps, and all it does is just swims above the weed. Calamari come out and grab it. Just looks like a big fleeing shrimp. There we go, the one behind does the damage again. Good one too. <laughs> it's a good size too. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes less action definitely gets more calamari. Oh, that's a nice one. Nice big one coming through. I'll help you. That's right. Nah. Doesn't matter if we lose it, we've already got more than enough. It's a nice one. Stick the net behind him, point him away. Good stuff. Here we go. Let's just grab hold of that jig. It is a nice jig, that one. <laughs> Dad's on. Just come, come across a, a bit of a patch of them. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there it goes. On the surf. All right, wrapping up today. What a fun day out on the water with Dad. We've had an absolute ball. Started off catching those pinkies on the reefs around Black Rock and then finished up here at Hampton, catching a really nice bag of calamari on two and a half, two so uh, size two jigs in uh, dark red, brownie sort of colors. Water's a little bit discolored, so that dark silhouette really stood out for us today. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and I'll catch you next time. Cheers.